For nearly 10 years and up until about 2 years ago, I had a hobby that was extremely important to me and thus I practiced tirelessly for upwards of 5 hours per day. This creative outlet that I had was central to my overall health, career goals, and life goals as a whole. For as long as I could remember, I've always known this deep within myself and have done all I can do to stride towards it. Even to this day, I'm confident that these things are what I was put on the planet to do. However, I had and still have no true friends in this endeavor, but I didn't think that was important many years ago. I was still progressing at a great rate and had my goals practically within my grasp. However, this turned out to be my ultimate stumbling block as I reached a point where I could go no further without the help of a companion and my skills were still insufficient for what I need to accomplish. Who do we know of that shares a similar story to this? Twilight Sparkle found her calling and dove headfirst into it with everything that she was. She studied and practiced tirelessly and disregarded the very concept of making friends as a distraction. Although she was seeking knowledge for the sake of knowledge whereas I had an ultimate goal in mind, the result was still very similar. Then. When an obstacle that was larger than her presented itself in the form of Nightmare Moon, Twilight was unable to activate the elements of harmony against her. She had reached her plateau and was able to go no further without the help of friends. Upon realizing this, she embarked upon the next level of her studies. Either through them or with their help, they were able to continue conquering the challenges that came forward and growing the entire way. That was the overall message behind the Friendship is Magic arc. This being that we can seldom face challenges that are larger than ourselves alone. Even with those I've known that have gone through extreme hardship by themselves, it usually wasn't until a true friend appeared in their lives that they were able to either find or gain the strength to pull themselves out of where they were. But by the same token, we need to recognize this need in ourselves before we can create that spark and let the magic into our hearts, just as Celestia had said. The episode also shows several ways how we can be better friends and ignite this spark within others. But we just started Season 4. It's been over three years since Friendship is Magic aired in its two parts. Why am I starting here? Well, actually, I'm not starting here. I'm starting with Princess Twilight Sparkle. However, since I believe that the Season 4 premiere was a direct build on the foundation that Friendship is Magic laid, I cannot explain how Princess Twilight Sparkle built on it without first explaining what exactly it built on. Granted, the moral of the fourth season's opener didn't build too much on the first season's opener, but what has been added is definitely of significant consideration. Try to consider the group's decision to send Twilight back to Ponyville from their perspective. At the point where they sent Twilight away, they were simply looking for the Tree of Harmony. It's shown that they didn't know what to expect in finding the tree when upon their arrival, they attempted to solve the problem physically. This means that ever since they were in the forest, they had been thinking that they could simply save the Tree of Harmony by weeding around it. Had they known from the start that it wasn't the vines choking the Tree of Harmony, but instead the Tree of Harmony losing its power and making way for the plunder seeds to grow, they would have not likely made the same decision and there would not likely have been a lesson learned here. They sent Twilight back because they thought they understood the situation, didn't think the elements of harmony would be required after all, and thus came to the conclusion that it was too dangerous and that Twilight was needed elsewhere. This conclusion was reached because they were letting the difference in their status come between their friendship and convolute the issue, making it difficult to remember that they're at their strongest when all six elements are together, figuratively and literally on all levels. Then they regretted that decision when they realized that this wasn't the case. The main six have been friends ever since they met. In Friendship is Magic, Twilight first saw how the bonds of friendship could overcome challenges that we cannot face on our own. By Applejack's line at the beginning of Princess Twilight Sparkle, she had known this all along as well, but believed that the elements of harmony is what held them together in that way. Twilight, having now come a long way in being able to understand exactly what sparks friendship, showed the group that they don't need the jewelry to remember their connection, as something as strong as true friendship makes a much deeper and more meaningful connection. From there, they will continue to draw the strength from each other and hold the ability to face the larger-than-life challenges that have yet to present themselves, regardless of if the elements of harmony are present or not. They did it in Missing Number 4, and they did it again in Equestria Girls. And though it may or may not be the same from here on out, it won't matter as long as they remember that spark. And then maybe we can do the same. And that, my friends, is the moral of the story. If you have a topic you would like to hear discussed, or if you have an episode, fanfiction, product, or anything else you would like to hear reviewed, send me a YouTube message or leave a comment below. You can also drop comments, questions, topic suggestions, and review suggestions by liking Brony Debates on Facebook, following on Twitter, or sending an email to bronydebates at yahoo.com. 
Have a great day, and I look forward to hearing from all of you soon.